Hi everybody, welcome to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So this is our day number eight. So well done. Congratulations. How do you feel? How is your body? Where are the differences you find when you start just to every day do something for your body? Let me know. So let's start. So we're going to start this time at the back of your mat. And we're going to, again, concentrate on our breathing. Feel your feet on the ground. Balance your right and left side. Relax your shoulders. Engage your tummy so your back is no arching or curving. Try to maintain it in neutral. So let's start. Inhale. And exhale. Spine roll. Bending your knees. Remember, we give a time to the body to gain again mobility and flexibility, but we don't stretch with pain. Inhale at the end. And exhale, roll up the spine. The head is the last thing to come up. Roll your shoulders backwards. And again, inhale to prepare. Exhale, spine roll. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. Roll your shoulders, inhale, exhale, spine roll, pressing your feet against the ground to give you mobility and balance to our body. Inhale to prepare, exhale, roll up, roll your shoulders backwards, inhale, and exhale the last spine roll. Inhale, and exhale, roll up, and roll shoulders backwards, inhale. Now we're going to go all the way down. Remember what we did the class before? We walk with our hands, engage your tummy, so don't let the weight collapse on your hands. Come on to all fours. We go this time, inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Back onto neutral. Curl the toes under, downward dog. We can keep the legs bent to really focus in, in the back and the arms. Now walk, keep the weight onto your feet and walk with your hands backwards. Keep the weight on your feet so we don't stress our hands. Inhale here, exhale. Inhale and exhale, roll up. Remember, bring your palms together, lift, and we arch here our back. Back to center, drop your hands, spine roll, bend in the knees. Walk with our hands forward. All fours slowly taking control of the body. Inhale, cat, toes the, point the toes away. Exhale, cow. Let's go for three, inhale. And exhale, releasing your spine. Let's go to inhale and exhale and just one more inhale and exhale. Back into neutral, curl the toes under, lift your knees, back to downward dog, extend your arms and your back, walk with your hands, toes to your feet. This is to develop a strength, inhale. And exhale, we stay here. Inhale. And exhale, roll up. Palms together all the way. Arch in our back. And release. I know that some of you feel like, a, oh, I don't like to do this up and down because you feel heavy or because you are struggling to move. That's okay. But remember, it's important to develop a strength 
because it's going to give us muscle density and bones density. So even if it's hard at the beginning, don't give up. Just take your time and just do it in your own rhythm. So let's go all the way down. Inhale and exhale. Spine roll. This time we go all the way, all fours. We stay in all fours. We're going to raise the right arm forward, pull the toes on the left foot, lift the left leg, and we're just going to go inhale, elbow, and knee come closer, or as far as you can go. Exhale, extend the arm without arching your back. Let's go for seven. Away. Let's go for six. Away. Let's go five. Keep your tummy in. Let's go four. Three, two, just one more. Just to give us mobility in the arm and the leg, and of course your hips. Swap and strength. Strength, remember, is worth it to do a strength. We don't have to do crazy strength. You, uh, our level, of course, but strength is for bones and muscles density. Left arm come forward, everybody. Right leg come up, and we go elbow and it come closer. Exhale, we extend both. Let's go for seven. Let's go for six. Keep your tummy in to don't arch your back. Let's go five, four, three, two. And just one more. Release. Give me your knees above your hips. We're just going to move the hands forward. And we're going to bring the chest down to stretch your arms and your back. Make sure that you, if your elbows reach the ground, try to don't bend your elbows and rest the weight on the arms. Maintain the weight on your fingertips, extending your arms to feel the stretch in your back. We hold here for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. Just one more. Now raise your torso. Bring your hands closer to you. Sitting back into child pose. Bend your elbows. Keep your palms together and just bring your hands behind your head and we just hold here. Keep pushing the weight down onto your heels to really stretch your back and your thighs. Hold me for three more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go three. And exhale. Two. Exhale, and just one more. Release and come back again onto all fours. Open your knees wider. Let's go downward dog, curl the toes under, downward dog. We just go inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, bring them down without forcing. Give the same weight in uh, hips and feet. Let's go inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Let's go for three. Down. Two. Down. And just one more. And down. Bring your knees back onto the ground. Slide the right knee forward and the left one backward as far as we can sit down on the right heel. Bend your elbows to let the chest rest down just to stretch your thighs. And we hold here. Press gently the front of your feet against the ground to engage your leg muscles. So inhale deep. Exhale. We try to release tension. Let's go for three. Exhale. Two. Just one more. And raise our torso. Bring your hands beside your body, shoulders above your hands, lift your chest, arching your back, 
press your feet against the ground to help you to elevate your tummy and stretch deeply your tummy. We hold for four. Three. Two. Just one more. Now engage your tummy, press your fingertips and your hands against the ground. Come on to all fours. Back onto downward dog. We can keep the legs bent and we just go inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Let's go for three. And two. And down. And just one more. And slowly bring your knees onto the ground. Slide the left knee forward and right one backwards. And we're just going to rest here for four. And three. Two. And just one more. And we'll raise our torso. And again, have that sensation of by pressing with the front of your feet on the ground, you can elevate more your tummy. You can keep your hands flat under your shoulders, or if you want to elevate a little bit, you come onto your fingertips or your fist. Now from here. And then remember that we hold the pose. We just concentrate on our body which areas are tense or tight. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Two. Exhale. And just one more. Now raise your torso, come on to all fours. Good. Back again, downward dog, curl the toes under. I know you feel a lot in your arms today, but it's okay. And we just go inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Let's go for three. Down. Two. Down. And just one more. And slowly bring your knees onto the ground. Swing the legs to the side and bring your legs to the front. Good. Now from here we're going to straighten our legs as much as we need it to keep our back straight. If you feel that your back is curving, bend slightly your knees. Hold your elbows, push your arms backwards, lift your chest. We hold for four. Three, two, and just one more. Release, we reach our feet, but without holding, just kind of reach into us to your feet. If you can stray fully the legs, keeping your tummy close to your thighs, is fine. If not, we bend the knees. We take two breaths with the sensation of straightening our back. And we come all the way up. We drop our hands, bend the right leg, right hand at the back, and the left one. Lift the chest, straight your back, open your chest, flex the left foot. We hold for four. Exhale. Use your fingertips to push your pelvis forward and straight your back. Let's go for two. And just one more. Release your left arm and we twist toes to the right, hugging your knee. Help you with the back arm to help you to straighten more your back. We can move our face completely backwards and we hold for four. Engage your tummy, everybody. Don't let all the job is coming from your shoulders. It's from finding to move from our core. Let's go three more. Inhale. Exhale. 
let's go to and just one more and anytime really close your eyes complete close your eyes sorry completely connect with your body bring your leg to the front here I need your back straight so if we cannot keep the legs straight and the back straight we bend the knees to help us to stray our back hold the elbows with the opposite hand and we just lift our chest straight our back we hold for four let's go for three two at the maximum you can straight your back and just one more Now we reach forward, bring your hands beside your feet, but try to don't catch your feet, just reach forward. Have the sensation to pull the legs close to you to extend more your back. And we hold for four, drop me your hands down to the ground, use your tummy to help you to lean forward. If you have your legs very, uh, too much bent, it's okay, don't worry about that, have the same sensation. Pushing your torso down by pulling your legs close to you. Let's go for two more breaths. So it doesn't matter if we have the legs bent a lot. It doesn't matter. It's a nice stretch in your back. I will raise our torso. Drop our hands. Straight the le right leg. Bend the left one. Hands behind our back to help us to straight our back. Flex the right foot. We hold for four. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. Release your right arm and we twist those to the left, helping us with the back arm to stray more our back to allow us to twist deeply. We hold here for four. Again, move your face back while you can. Let's go three. Two. And just one more. And we release. It feels really nice in our back, our legs. We're going to... Lie down on the side. Remember this part that we did. Uh, I think I was in video number five. Bend your legs. Knees align with your hips. Hand in front of your belly. You inhale, exhale, open the legs without pushing the hip backwards. Let's go for nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one more. Now we straight the leg and we go inhale and exhale, flex your foot, keep forward and inhale backward. Let's go for nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and just one more. Bend the leg at the and catch your foot at the back. Again, if you cannot catch your foot, remember, take a towel to help you to pull. And here we just push the pelvis forward to stretch our thigh. We hold for four. And three. Two. And just one more. And we release, 
Now we help us to come all the way up. Remember this position called the mermaid. So again, we just make sure that we can straight our back, our feet closer, arm away from the feet come up, and we just stretch towards to the feet. And we just hold here for four. That's good. Let's go for three. Two. It feels nice. And just one more. Remember, always stretch until the point it feels really, really good. That is never painful. Swing the legs to the other side, everybody. Lie down on the other side, head resting on your arm, palm on the floor. Knees align with your hips, other hand in front, so it helps us to don't push our hips backwards. Let's go for four and ten. Open and close. Let's go for nine. Eight. And it are really close your eyes and connect with your body. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and just one. Now straight the leg and we keep forward, so we go ten. And back nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bend the leg, catch your foot at the back, and push your hips forward to stretch your thighs. We hold for four and three, two, and just one. And release everybody, come all the way up. Bring your arms up and we just reach. Oh, it feels good. Let's go for four. You can move your arm away to help you. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. And we release. Ah, oh, give you a nice hug. Ah. Oh. Good. Sit in any comfortable position is for you. Good. <laughs> Bring your arms to the front. And we're just going to cross over the left arm at the top of the right. And we just extend our arms so you cannot reach your hands. Just keep them as far as they can come close, okay? And we just hold it here for four. Three. Two and just one more. Open your arms, take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. And try to do this. Inhale, make a fist and exhale. Oh, feel this tension. Other side. So this time is the right cross over the left. Top of the hands, each other, if it's possible, touching each other. If not, as far as you can go. If you can knock them, fantastic. Keep your elbows up. We hold for four, three, two, and just one more. And release, open your arms, inhale, make a fist, exhale, release. Bring your arms down, bring your arms to the front, inhale, make a fist, exhale, release. 
inhale exhale just one more inhale hands back pray to see namaste thank you for joining us we we'll see you in the next video and remember to follow us as well in facebook and instagram as the sacred body studio my name is fabi and see you again bye bye